Hey everybody, Erica Sterwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got one more Simply Sparkling project for you today. Uh, this time we're going to make a little treat holder. And I'm not using the can, um, I'm using the cute little fruit. I found these pink lemonade Kit Kats at uh, Five Below. I'll try to find a link and put it on uh, my blog for you if you're looking for them. They're really cute and I haven't tried them yet, but Kit Kat never fails, honestly. <laughs> I mean, they're always good, right? Okay, let's um, make the holder first. Now, one thing to note is the stamp set for Simply Sparkling has sold out. Unfortunately, it sold out right before I <laughs> went to feature the products here on my blog, but um, the dies are still available, and hopefully many of you already have it so you can make these fun, projects as well. All right, you're going to need a piece of Pretty in Pink that is seven and three fourths by nine and a fourth. On the long side, we're going to score it at two and three fourths, three and a fourth, six and six and a half, and then turn it to the short side and score it at three and three and a half. Okay, now grab your bone folder and you want to burnish all of these lines, make them nice and crisp. And we're gonna actually cut part of this at an angle. So you're gonna wanna get your trimmer as well. Let's see, where should we start? All right, first things first. Let's cut off these two pieces right here, okay? We're gonna cut the, the whole square up like that and then cut this piece off right here, okay? Now, Cut in here and here. You wanna make those, that a little flap. Um, another thing that I recommend is cutting the corners off of your tabs. I really need my smaller scissors for this part. All right, turn it around and we're gonna do the same thing. Now remember, you've got two score lines here, so cut the outside score line. Okay, and then we'll cut this one. I'm going to switch over to my smaller scissors and snip, snip, and then cut those corners off. Okay, now for your trimmer, of course mine is down here, we're going to cut each of the outside flaps from the top corner to the bottom corner. So. Line this up. This is your gutter right here. Boy, I have dimensional backings everywhere today, it seems. Line your the top part of your score line and that bottom corner up in the gutter. So put that right there and that corner right there. Lay your uh, arm down and you're going to get a perfect triangle. All right now we're going to do it the same on this side. Bottom corner, top corner, and cut. Okay, so now before I move my trimmer away, Let's cut our designer series paper. All the measurements for these pieces are gonna be over on my blog, so make sure you hop over there to grab them. Um, you're gonna need two pieces of designer series paper, and one of them we're gonna cut diagonally this way, okay? See that? And then the next one we're gonna cut diagonally the other way. And the reason why we can't use both pieces, I'll show you in just a second, you'll actually have pieces now for two holders, is that when you turn this, you've got the same triangle. See how that works? Um, so you need a triangle like this and a triangle like that, all right? Okay, now let's put our paper on here. We're gonna adhere these right here. Do I have adhesive? Looks like we're gonna use glue today. It is raining outside, so it is humidity is really, really high. So it's probably best that I am using liquid glue. I do find that in my area where we have high humidity, the liquid glue is the best. All right, and then we'll put a piece of designer series paper here, and I'm thinking maybe my piece isn't big enough. Oh yeah, it looks about right. All right, we'll put that right there. All right, I'm gonna set this aside to dry. While we wait for that, we will stamp our fruits. 
All right, we are gonna stamp both lemons and the strawberry in memento black. And I'm actually gonna stamp the strawberry twice. And then I'm gonna do the lemon and the other lemon. All right, I am using Stampin' Blends to color these. I'm gonna start with my light Stampin' Blend, light Poppy Parade Stampin' Blend. And I'm gonna give my strawberry a full coating of ink. Now the colors I've used so far are pretty in pink. And the Designer Series Paper Pretty in Pink is from the In Color DSP pack. All right, so I just added a little bit of dark and I'll blend that down. Now let's do this one. And we'll take that dark again. Let's see if I can stay in the lines this time. Just kind of blend that down, add a little bit of dark. And then we're gonna take our light Daffodil Delight. And I'm gonna give this lemon a full coating of light. I'm gonna leave it open because I'm gonna use it again. I'm gonna take my dark, and I'm gonna use the brush tip here, and I'm just gonna kind of add some shadow around the bottom, and then I'm gonna take my light and just flick that ink up so it blends. All right, now for this lemon, I'm gonna go around and color the whole thing light. And then I'm going to get my dark Daffodil Delight and go around the rind and in between each of the little segments like that. All right, last but not least, I'm going to take my Granny Apple Green Light and just color in all of the leaves. Okay, now take your dies. You're gonna use this die and this die and the strawberry, which is right here. And you're gonna cut those out. I've already done that for us today. And I have a few extra pieces. We're gonna line them up. You also need a uh, basic white banner for the sentiment. So let's stamp that. These are, this is from the, this banner is from the Stylish Shapes dies. I'm going to stamp that. Now grab your dimensionals and we're going to line all of these up. I'm going to start here with my lemon. Let's see, I want to do the lemon on this side since I put the shadow like that. And we'll get this lemon slice right here, and then we'll add in our cute little strawberries. There's one, and the other, we'll tuck that one in like that. And then last but not least, we've got our banner which will go right there. Okay, now let's put it all together. Bring back your um, holder and we're going to take this and fold it up like this okay and then we're going to adhere those sides there and there all right I'm actually going to use tear and tape so we don't have to wait for it to dry tear and tape is a great adhesive too for your 3d projects let's see if I have my take your pick tool Nope, I think we'll use scissors. It's been a long weekend of Labor Day festivities and I am just kind of out of sorts today. All of my stuff is all over and I'm not fully prepared it seems. <laughs> okay, now fold this in, fold those little tabs up and then we're gonna take this and smush that side into that one and smush that side into that one. All right, let's see, let's get this a little bit further down so that it's square, there we go. All right, you can take your bone folder, kind of push those sides down like that. And then let's put our Kit Kat in. 
I like to have the little pink part sticking out. And then that closes. If you want, you could put a little circle or a square here to write a little message. And then we're gonna get a one inch strip. Let's see if I can get these to line up. There we go. We're gonna get a one inch strip and this is gonna be a belly band. I'm, I think mine might be a little bit too long. So let's trim it and you just wanna uh, wrap it around, pinching as you go. Finish that bow over on the left side, snip, snip, and then grab your dimensionals one more time. Put those there and we will set that right in the middle like that. And there you go, a fun little treat, fruity treat, if you will, a pink lemonade, strawberry lemonade Kit Kat. All right, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, let me know if you have questions, and happy stamping. Bye.